I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I was just here for a pickup. This a tool cry. This a tool. You're a cat. What he did? Bro, it's no way he alive after that, cuz. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Batman, the Telltale series. Clear as day, you know what this is, bruh. I don't even know why I just said the little title and shit. Clearly, you all can read, hopefully, shit. But yeah, the first Telltale series games I'm playing today, man. I might play The Walking Dead, but if you all don't know, Reason why I'm playing this is cause she, I had it in my library. She is free, I'm playing it! I got all the episodes. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. Cause... Nigga, blue. Fuck you talking about, boy? What the fuck? Graphics weak as hell, boy. Where can I move the camp? Right here. Right here. Hey, what are you? Boy? I gotta finish playing Outlast. I mean, didn't I play that shit on stream? I stopped playing it because niggas said it was weak. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? You bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham's Zoo. Remember, my Probably controller fly, is man. fucked, bruh. I need a new one, bruh. I gotta buy a new one. to beat something Bruce you can't keep doing this I have to <laughs> no one else will every drop of blood everything you've sacrificed the city is safer now but it's made you a target and people will keep you in the crosshairs 
until you're shut out of the sky. They need something to fear. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Shit! Yeah, just not going over there. Where was y'all let when the glass broke? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Tell me whatever got in. Come on, bro. You know what the fuck going on. I'm gonna try to up, get this uploaded tonight. Five video. What's that? Well, I'm glad I ain't got to aim with the other uh shit. Well, I will be fucked. <laughs> Taking hell if they get through. Oh, they making me use the analog. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Shit, I might. You need a monster. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Pressing it, come God. Gosh. Gosh. Oh, what? Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bro, I do. I would not want to see Batman in these in these streets, boy. Didn't your mother teach you to know? Oh, I'm fucking her. Y'all, y'all already know what's going on. Behind you, big boy. When I see a freak on the episode. <laughs> Catwoman getting cracked because if they give me the option. Selena, good plan. I fuck with this though. Why y'all ain't been telling me to play these type of games? Cause like that's what I'm saying. But I did go ghost on this channel for like four months. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scary I gotta get my groove back, bro. I ain't been playing games like that. Niggas say I'ma disappear again. Shit, I might. Without a scratch. So far. Niggas say when the streaming error gonna that come doesn't back. Doesn't belong to you. She I was wondering GTA if you 6 job. Pants. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. I don't know why so I just said... what? A villain? I don't know why Seems I just fun. said that corny ass shit, you Gotta nigga. admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. 
Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring Very it back. position. <laughs> Catwoman, you know you can't fuck with me. Bro. You know you can't fuck with me with the hands, but time. Like, be serious, bro. Oh, I gotta use the left and the long stick when I do that. No wonder. Fuck you talking about? I hit hoes. I hit hoes. Damn, really? Bro, get this, bro, in a cub. Over here. You get this? Move us in closer. Ash. Boy, that stomach shot a motherfucker. <laughs> but this back shot gonna be better. It's over. But you I didn't even do that, bro. The controller did that. Get her, get her. Boy, I thought I just missed. Who are them now? Jesus. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Do not shoot! Killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Boy! God damn it! I said don't shoot you! No! Wait! I didn't even get to do nothing. Nigga. Oh. nigga got shot, still jumped off the bed to catch her. The things niggas do for cooch, man. wrong about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours who Bitch. put you up to this answer me or I let go but you won't you're what? not that kind of guy Bitch, you want to play <laughs> you would have gotten no cuz I want to crack so I wouldn't have dropped you but after I collect, it's really fuck you, though. Honestly. Once I collect. Step out of the shadows. And be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well, then. Fuck wrong with the that graphics. Y'all just seen that? Oh my, look at, look at this, boy! Welcome to Gotham. Shit, that was a hell of a welcome. Shit. Fuck you, Tom. Thank up. you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Could it be a long episode, boy? Like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. 
Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Harvey Dent, ain't this Two-Face? For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Dirty ass city. They Ain't Gotham Wayne, based off New York or some shit. Backer, could have heard that Dirty applause. ass he would... city. Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. Oh, no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. No wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Nigga, you, po you was made to back dough me, bruh. Do you really think I'm for the truth, you Harvey? Thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner night we shift. will leave you alone. It's just working the night shift. Yeah, well then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stick. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I just don't like being someone I'm not. What, what are you talking about? You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your radiant glow. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill. Is she does me fuck? I'll admit it, Fuck Mr. she the chairwoman Wayne. for? I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm all about We're putting saying. niggas on, though. Mm -hmm. Like, he put a no back though. Attached. Maybe he's not going back though. Old families like ours should know? flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. These no, graphics is crazy. The box are reminders How of the can I fix this Gotham. shit? Boy. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham oh, now. These is P4, in the streets, P4 corruption graphics. in City Hall. I'm on the P5. A cape bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby. Regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. 
Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Get Gotham's your most dumb at ass on. We keep in the asylum. We'll be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Bro, what Truly the fuck, terrible. bitch? Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Nigga, because I be putting it shit on, for real, though. No, like, I'm really a hater and hating ass nigga, though. But I be putting niggas on, though. But the moment you do some back and shit, bro. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. No, get out. You can ask me whatever you, you want. You can stay. At the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I do I'm mine, here for actually. Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Bitch, I ain't talking. Fuck you, Tom Bow. <laughs> Fuck you, Tom Bow. Go and get up out of here, Vicky. You ain't letting me crack. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Girl, I ain't got shit on my collar. Um, is that blood? Dude, I don't see no yeah. blood. It looks like shit. Maybe it's uh, lipstick. Actually, it's uh, it's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh, man, look at who is this? Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. That's what I'm saying, bro. You, Excuse you, us, Mr. You man. on the back door path. I'm for the disrespect blood in his face, cuz, like, fuck him. Really. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least to hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Oh, this don't look good, Jesus, gang. Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Nigga, who are you talking to, bruh? You know, I've been in the market for a new house. What? Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, you heard this plenty of room for my car. And you want me to be nice? I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends me. Nigga, my you eyes. can't afford it. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. I didn't even welcome you, cuz. You're a respectable man, I hear. I'm gonna shake his hand. Bruce Wayne. Fuck you, Tom. I Bob. know who you are. <laughs> the guy who's gonna sell me his house. Your guests will remember that, nigga. Fuck Gentlemen, them guests. Perhaps we'll nigga? be more comfortable in the parlor. You know, fuck by what they remember. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at. Nigga, let him in. What's to you, boy? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. No. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? 
fuck wrong with dude? I would have jabbed his ass. Do you not know I'm Batman, boy? And Mr. I don't see District no blip. The attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city. Hey, look at that cup. Might lighten the load if we do so together. Oh, I do got the brightness up hella high, though. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Nigga think I'm his bitch? I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Why would I chalk okay, this for you, bro? I ain't this your bitch. Is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. That's why I came here tonight to your love. What? Home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. Listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Damn, I said no to him? Master Shit, I didn't even realize it. Guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. He's gonna get what's coming to him. <laughs> Alright, I didn't even know I was being a prick, was I? Shit. Fuck him! Tell me I some chalk this for me. I'm like, come on, bro. Who are you talking to? Harvey, bro, I tried, but dude was getting out of line, cuz. It's me. Tonight. And we have 
breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Since my controller fucked up, we just gonna like skip to everything I look at, bruh. Cause this is ridiculous. Nearly fell off a building for this? Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Find out what was so important. Damn, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows Shit through that Shit is not port. decrypted in the background. Maybe Boy! Maybe he'll pick up his dry cleaning. Come on, bro. We can't be cooking mm. during the gameplay, cuz. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files The to camera get. can't cook during... How do I turn mm. the focus off, the dude? Meantime, I I'm too I far could. back from the camera. I'm Thanks, not sir. fixing the camera, bro. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Mm -hmm. 
They showed a blurry oh. picture on the thing, but a whole picture right here, though. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't, I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. I can get your old <sighs> ass on, dude. Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much I ain't trusting no nigga I ain't seen in 20 years. He was I ain't giving shit a chance. Up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. Oh, God. You both were. I ain't trying to Even kick it. And I'm not trying to uh, catch up. Close. None of that, brother. I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. And this nigga broke. Where are you, Oz? Let's say I was associating with cuz. And you need some money, little folks. Boy. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, I be giving away money in real life and shit, though. So shit, I do it on the game type shit. I can really be an asshole on her. Statue, but no Oz. Nigga trying to bag those some shit, bruh. I'm not for the keep curious. Who is this? Hey, beat it.
watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? Nigga, try and take Go it. Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell you say? <laughs> End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. the moment! Come here. Uh. Think that'll do? One thing I ain't gonna do, boy. Are oh, you the up blit? You the had pole whole time. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Dude, just cause we beating homeless niggas together don't mean that we cool. I don't trust you, cuz. This is my park. Oh, I my. thought he killed them. You hear that? Oh, hey Bruce, you've got a little uh. Man, don't you ever put no, hey, bro. Don't do that ever new. again. See, the thing about this, bro, I'm making sure, bro. When I play as Bruce, bro, I gotta let niggas know I ain't no hoe, cause so all that nice guy shit, bro. Like, this shit is not gonna be high Woo, on this game right, play. Scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Nigga, I had a hand. I, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no offense. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. Is this supposed to be the penguin? <sighs> this city. I don't remember the penguin being right scammy. People. Fuck you talking about. Mum. Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own funerals to attend. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought, Bruce Wayne, ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. It shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home, that oily, <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. My revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? 
Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Dude, get the fuck out my face, bro. Before I Good beat your ass, Bruce. nigga, oh. I'm Batman, I bro. Honestly. Cheers. If I wasn't Batman, eh. I mean, he a A1 day one, but shit. Should I be friend though? Y'all let me know. Should I be friends with this nigga? Even if, if y'all make it this far in the episode. Is this Wayne Manor? Like, some shit. Look like the mission I did on Hitman. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. Do not ask me about dude, this way. bro. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty sure you have enough photos, guys. Of Bruce Wayne? Never. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to be friend Two Face. That nigga back do me, dude. I swear to God. Arkham Asylum. <laughs> You, Ever you since can't. It opened its doors, I'm Batman. Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Nigga, that is not gonna help. With this facility and our next mayor, my hope is in Harvey to make sure a night like that never happens again. I don't know if I should be trusting this nigga to put the faith in the city. <laughs> Cause it's all gonna on fall on me, cuz. I'm night, advocating for this nigga, this man. To Thomas and Martha Wayne. And usher in a new era of healing. Bro, for he God. for the back door, me, cuz. This is not for the go right, bro. I feel it in my gut, cuz. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this Vicky, new is hospital, let me what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. We All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. I didn't you welcome shit. Hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. 
Next question, please. I should have said your question. Damn, on topic. I want to. <laughs> I want to go You're back and say. Hospital, remember. I want. I should have said that was Harvey Gibbs. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What? What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years. Dude, Fredo, I'm not joining this shit, dude. This day, Fuck. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? How long has your family been Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Orange controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. You know what I'm saying? Look what Harvey got me in, bruh. Fuck. Hey, hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. Dude, get out of my face, The only one files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Hey, boy, you and her breaking shit, man. Well, I told him to pick that up. I know this is a photo of me and the fam. As expected, bro. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You don't have to do this. Bruce. Bruce. Dude, she back in my Bruce? crib. I I didn't mean to interrupt, but This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Mm. 
Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. Stay out of this, Miss Vale. There are enough reporters eviscerating my family's legacy. I want to restore their legacy. The Waynes are synonymous with Gotham. You deserve better treatment than this. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Man, Everyone bro, will be talking about the public, This man. isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Now, should I trust this bitch? Think about it. You reporters love to get a motherfucker word and twist it up. But I also just said, fuck the, fuck the press. So I'm giving my opinion. Fuck you talking about. All Give quote. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. Bitch, the don't back do me. Goodbye, Miss Ray. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make Batman kill on this month. I'm making him kill! I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. That's what I'm saying. Look what Harvey on, bro. Like, you can't trust niggas, bro. I can't trust shit, bro. Fuck you talking about, dude. I already knew Harvey was gonna back do me, cuz. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. You owe me an explanation, and I will get you one, straight from Mayor Hill's mouth. So like he I just beat don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Hey, I'll you? do this shit alone. Nigga, ain't Sorry. that cat I got a habit of being late. No, no. Harvey, I'm cracking your freak, cuz. Bitch got punched. <laughs> I blacked her shit. 
Ah, I Tersh. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is oh, so she know I'm Batman. She see the skull. On my I hope shit. I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour I buses to around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Maybe it's time to find a new job. I don't need career advice from you, Mr. Wayne. Not all of us were born with trust funds and multi-billion dollar corporations. Hey, hey, go easy on Bruce. No, Not no, his fault he was no. born rich and good looking. No, let him win this bitch have it. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Harvey, you fucking her, I'm fucking her. Uh, we all for the fuck. Excuse me a moment. Fuck you talking about, boy. As soon as you back hey, me, I'm hard. cracking her, nigga. Then you just left me with this freak, like, dude. You <laughs> nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Bitch. I'm curious about I something now. Fuck about getting exposed. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you, why take the risk? I don't need one. I do this because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Silly me. Let her know I'm ruthless. You have something Ain't no reason. Me. I just do it. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. What that mean? These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. What that mean? If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. Bitch, I, I don't, don't owe like you. Consequences. I don't owe you anything. Fuck she as talking as I'm about. Concerned you're on your own. Huh. I was hoping we could work together. I so, don't I do want it. I'm, so I'm not letting no coochie get me killed. Listen, Fuck you talking about. I don't have it's gonna come to me, cuz. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. 
Bitch, you don't piss me off. starting to piss me off. Oh, there you are. I was hoping you'd come out and play. <laughs> she right. got PTSD. No. no contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? 15 minutes Hey, ago. she got PTSD from the bishop. I mean, for the Ike Turner, cuz. <laughs> Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Bitch, why would you just say that? I'm already in a suit. It's a long episode, boy. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of this is set up. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it but the chemicals themselves were inert not explosive well it appears to have made a pretty big boom i'll see what i can piece back together i've seen these outfits before same mercs that broke into city hall The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Nigga, Batman ain't that damn strong. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. 
that bad? Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. 
but clearly he wasn't right there. The nigga had to be right there. for a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. This is the right spot. So where did he go? stops here then he should be nearby found him time to go to work boy <laughs> my turn <laughs> don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard no coney why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! <laughs> you, you can't make me talk! What? <laughs> I ain't telling you, Jack! <laughs> Nigga, you foot a talk. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Batman, hilarious, cuz I'm talking. Y'all seen that video on TikTok? He slammed dude to the wall and he True told his ass to talk. You. You're a freaking animal. Yeah, pretty much. Time to live up to my reputation. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Well, I'm gonna hit you on the face first. Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Well, I don't want to get a nigga cops. CTE. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> All it took. Boy? No! <laughs> I start here. And keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! Listen to him cry! I swear! Listen to him! You're bad! <laughs> You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, that nigga said, "Yeah." They're gonna need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Nigga, I ain't talking to Gordon. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. Fuck, I'm like talking to Gordon. We ain't got nothing to talk about. <laughs> but I don't You're care. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Am I? Should I end the episode right here? You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. No, no, I did it. Well, I did hit him in the head with a fucking pipe. <laughs> Your parents didn't raise you this way. 
Shit, my purse. Neither did I. Look, I did what you had to, but at what cost? Oh, seriously, I should have said he's still alive. My parents didn't get to raise me, they died. I, I, they died when I was nine. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you I ain't start remembering shit till I was like, fool. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce. But you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Broke his own to let niggas know Batman that ain't no night, joke. That alleyway. It Fuck made you, Tom, me bro. who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, Remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Why would I turn on tickets at? Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Nigga, I'm gonna pick the runner. Hold on. They really finna hit me with this. Should I pick the runner? She gonna expose the truth, but they might kill her. I'm giving it to Gordon. I don't want them to kill the, cops the runner. Are on the front line of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. Yeah, I don't want them to we'll kill the runner. On two fronts tonight: Gordon through the police, and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever but Falcone the laws planning, might destroy the evidence, tonight. though. He's a spider. Well, fuck it, shit. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. I'm a big overthinker, bro. Like, no one has God, ever though. managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I think about everything. I'd be like, bro, why this nigga being so nice to me? Cause what he on? No, I said. <laughs> Now I want to look back, go this, on YouTube and look at what happened. This is a silver bullet, and it's going to put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I got to know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will, too. 
This isn't about politics. Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. It's a first step in the marathon to fix this city. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. Oh, Wayne's always supported the guy. Bro, I straight forgot Carl right at the crib and I gave him that. I should have gave it to the fucking runner. I forgot he raided the crib, cuz. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I forgot cuz raided the crib. Tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. This building fucking floating. Where the rest of the building at? How did I not I realize this was the actual game? <laughs> Boy, what fucking floating? The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. Let's find Falcone. Nigga, this not Falcone. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. of options for taking this guy down. I want to throw him on a table. Batman ain't killing shit, he giving shit CTE, cuz. No cop. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Bruce, have you formed
formulated your plan of attack. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. No way he alive after that, cuz. Impossible. <laughs> Boy. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Hey, Batman goaded, bro. Spider-Man the goat, bro. But Batman up there. Answers now, or you fall. You wouldn't have. Uh. All right, all right. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rooms. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. Oh, man. Well, they got me on camera. Here, couldn't you? Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? Someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. We done? Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah. <laughs> hey, the public gonna say Batman is... No, nah, these niggas gotta know, bro. Batman mean business, bro. Like, Batman mean business, bro. All that arresting and all that shit, bro. 
Falcon think he all this and that because the police watching. What these niggas got to know is, bro, Batman don't care who watching because Batman brutalized, nigga. Gotham. Man, nigga, oh, shut up. Goofy? Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. It's... <laughs> the Waynes. They're behind all this. What do you mean? You really... You really want to take down crime? Well, the Waynes... Uh, are the biggest gangsters in... Oh my god! Take him out! Batman needed answers, bruh. And Batman got answers. What the fuck is you talking about? We gotta balance this shit out, though, like. Bruce Wayne gonna be the good Fire guy. Smoke could reportedly be seen from street level tonight. The Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was brutally wounded in the attack. Oh! Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. With pain. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that, a story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? Gothamites? Monster Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! We gotta end it right here, cause this was a good episode, chat. <clears throat> Refresh to download the latest choices. See more of your choices online. Sign up for Telltale account and visit Telltale Batman. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? I'm a real nigga, man, of course. Come on, bruh. Did you provide a quote for Vicky's story? You 85% of plus type shit on me. I should have been with the 14% though. Did you break the dot shooters on? You and 48.7% savages broke cub on. Bro, the 51% of y'all are cowards, bro. Who did you get the data to? Yeah, bro, like, it was like, 
common sense, bro. Why would I give it to the runner? Bro, they going to kill the runner. They ain't going to kill Gordon. Come on, man. He the loss. Give it to Cubs. But then I remember, bro, raided my crib. So I should have gave it to the runner. But at the same time, I wanted to crack the runner. So giving it to the run, not giving it to the runner was the best option. <laughs> How did Batman deal with Falcon at the end? You at 18%. Of savages choose to brutalize, make an example of him to criminals everywhere. I'm not to be played with, bro. Oh God, 82% of y'all said no. Niggas gonna know, bro. I'm not playing with niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck who recording, who watching, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, boy? Till next time. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. And swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. Look at this dude. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. Nigga working with to that woman. Distance myself. Damn. Oh, tight shit. I will <laughs> tight shit. No. I'm doing everything in my power to get in the motherfucking uh spandexes, nigga. Way. I'm cracking. Bro, did it just skip on its own? I hope y'all enjoyed this episode, man. Let me know if y'all want more of this, bro. If y'all want more of this, I'ma keep playing it, bro. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, bro. You can edit clip, post a clip, share a clip, do whatever you want to do, bro. And I'm gone. <laughs>